Welcome everybody to this new review. Uh, today we're gonna have a look at the diesel RTA by Timesvape. Uh, as you noticed, this is my English version of the review. Um, something else I want to mention before we proceed with the review uh, is that this RTA has a little bit of controversy that comes with it. Uh, there's some, well, uh, there's a few people, companies involved and they do not get along very well. Uh, it's, some accusations have been made that it's a clone, it's a copy, well, vice versa, actually. Um, but I just want to make very, very clear. I'm not going to dig into that. I'm going to stay far away from that drama. Uh, I'm just going to look at the RTA on itself. Uh, I mean, of course, time vapes on the box, but there's no other name or company that, as I can see, on this packaging connected to the RTA so I'm just gonna look at the RTA and give you my thoughts on it as it is so let's move on right on the box we have times weight diesel the diesel RTA uh, nicotine warning in the front on the sides absolutely nothing on the top, a disclaimer with a few warnings. The other side, nothing. And on the bottom, we have Times Vape and their social media. On the back of the box, we have Diesel RTA, the specifications and everything that's included in the kit. Uh, like I said, uh, well, I didn't say it, but I'm gonna say it now. It's a 2 ml tank and a spare 5 millimeter of milliliter bubble tank. Uh, I am in, the, in, the, in Europe, so I have to deal with the TPD. So I have no bubble tank, but two 2 ml glasses. Glasses, plastic I think it is. Uh, it's machined at 27 millimeters and on the bottom it's tapered to 25. We'll have a look at that in a moment. On the bottom, the barcode, a scratch and sniff, made in China by Times Vape, and their website. Let's have a look inside. Right. First of all, the manual, some reading material, if you would like to do that. Uh, the spare glass, plastic. The tank, we'll go over that shortly. A Damn it. Beautiful box, which I always hate. I had the same problem on the Dutch version as well, with some spare parts, screwdriver, some O-rings, some extra insulators, extra screws. Put that aside. And then of course, the RTA itself. Now, and there she is, the diesel RTA. On the top, a frosted drip tip, which is 810, if I can get it out. I have no idea where you can pick this one up because I don't know if it's even available yet. I picked this up in Birmingham at the Vape Expo. Let's have a quick look if it's, yeah, it's a true A10. And on the top here, you can see diesel on both sides. We have top airflow and here on the bottom you can see 
the tapering down, which kind of matches the tapering on top. The top airflow is a pain to turn. I already tried lubing it up with some juice, but I think it has just has to do with the fact that it's it's a plastic and it's running over metal and a o-ring. So that's a pain, but it does get a little bit smoother once you fiddle around long enough with it. All right, open this up. First we see the big juice ports on the sides to fill up the tank. And here in the middle we have where all the airflow goes. On the outside, you can see that here, on the outside we have the airflow in, like so. Comes in, hits the coils, goes back through the center, up to the drip tip. As you can see here, it's, it's, this is, I'm just gonna say, this is shit. They, they really, really need to do something about this. This, this isn't gonna work for me. We have a black O-ring here at the bottom and a silicone O-ring at the top. So here are the juice ports. It, the machining is, is okay. It's, it's, you know, oh, this might be from the juice I, put on the o-ring before. I'll screw off the bottom. Not gonna have you look at that quite yet. And here we can see where the airflow comes. Because let's take this off for a second. Like I said the airflow goes in on the top and then on the outside of this dome, but on the inside, when you, can, when you screw the top off, there's another dome. So the airflow goes in on top, over this one, here through the, these cutouts, and then hits the coils right here. And then, of course, through the top. So that's in like that. Screw the top back on. Right. Put that there. All right, you wanna see it? Here is the deck. It's gold. And it's not a little bit gold, it's a lot of gold. I don't have a huge problem with gold plating, but this is just so freaking much. Come on. Well, all right, put yourself together, get over it, go on. Like I said before, where the airflow comes here on the side, those drop over like here and the airflow goes in here through these little airflow holes. Then of course hit the coils and go straight up. Now there's a dual coil RTA, so we're gonna have one coil here, one coil here, wick here, wick here, that's it. It's just so freaking gold. The idea behind it, I, I, I understand it, but I, I just can't get over so much gold. The screws are pretty good. Can't feel any burrs or, or things like that. Now you're gonna have, I don't know how well it's visible, but this screw has an insulator around it on the other side as well 
because this piece here is going to be the positive and this side is going to be the negative. Right. We're going to put a build in it. See what it does. I don't know, maybe I'll have to send this down at, at one point. I, it's too much. Especially when you have a frosted white glass, stainless steel tank or a black tank, it's either one. And then this freaking gold. Bleh. You can even see it through the tank. Look. Right. Like I said, gonna put a build in it, and we'll come back. Intoxicate too hot from all the pain. You need to break away from these chains. Back on top with the diesel RTA. Just look at it. I was open minded when I started this review. I was open minded when I bought the damn thing. But I don't like it. I really don't like it. I wish I would, but. It's no, no, it's it's not good. The flavor is okay. It's it's not bad, it's it's okay for an RTA, but there are so many things I don't like about it that I can't bring myself to like the other things that are pretty okay. Because of the honeycomb and the top airflow, you won't get leaks. The taste is okay, the airflow is good. It's a little bit pinched, it's a little bit restricted. But, I mean, come on, look at the, the gold deck at the bottom. It's always visible. You have a complete stainless steel tank with a frosted glass and frosted tip and then at the bottom there's this freaking golden bleh showing no as you saw in the build section I had a pain putting these coils in the legs needed to be longer than I expected because it is a postless deck so I cut them fairly short but then they were too short because the screws are way down and when they finally do catch they either or push the coil back out or just don't grab it was a bitch I didn't even use my favorite cotton for this build I just grabbed any ragged old cotton I can find there's so many things wrong the gold you have here you have the diesel on the tank where is it there it is which you can only see when there's no liquid in because it's frosted there's a shitty gold popping back out you have this frosted airflow, which is a bitch to turn. It, okay, it does get easier using it a lot more, but why does that have to be frosted? Why does that ring has to be have to be frosted? You have a freaking stainless steel section behind it. It looks like stainless steel. 
Why does that ring have to be frosted plastic? I don't, I, I don't get it. Then there's a the matter of the O-rings. I get it. The, the, the rings that are visible here on the top, those are white silicone. But they're too white. They stand out from the stainless behind it. I'd rather have just a black rubber O-ring. Again, flavor isn't bad. Airflow isn't bad. Would I buy it again? Hell no. No, this is a tank I regret buying. Did I just, did I already break it? Nah, don't think so. No, it's it's a no from me. I hate it. Don't even care who made or designed or fabricated it. Could be the expensivest thing, most expensive tank in the world. I still wouldn't like it. So would I buy it? No. Shit happens. That's it for my review on the diesel RTA. If you enjoyed the video, want to see more, please hit subscribe and the bell next to it so you get a message every time I upload a new video. Uh, like the video, give it a thumbs up. Didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Your call. Leave a comment if you want. I hope to see you on the next video. This is it. Cheers. Bye.